So today I want to make a video kind of showing some of the tricks that my dogs know. Um, I'm not primarily a trick trainer. Also, most of my dogs did not come to me as puppies. Um, doesn't necessarily make a huge difference, but it's not something that they've been working on ever since they were younger. I got most of my guys at three or four years old after they already had some behavioral things. Um, and we primarily do tricks just for fun. We're not doing any competitions with them or titles. Um, at least not with most of them. They're just different ways to exercise my dog's brains. So some of the basics that all of my dogs know, um, I'll be using Roxy to show you guys most of them, but things that aren't as easy to show you, everyone knows how to run on a treadmill. Everyone knows how to do loose leash walking. They also know a behind me command. So for behind me, essentially, it's great for if I'm on a trail, my dogs all just walk behind me. Um, so if we're off leash somewhere, we're getting closer to a road, I'll tell them all to go behind me and they can walk kind of wherever behind my heel that they want. Um, they also all obviously know place, they all know their name, they have a good recall. So these guys all know the basics. They know down, sit. place. Louise doesn't know very much because she's still pretty new to us. Most of what we've been working on is just behavior modification to build her confidence because she came to us very, very nervous. So she learned how to walk loosely on leash. We've been practicing paying attention in stores. She has a really nice recall. Touch. Louise also knows a touch. And we've been working on spin. Yes, good girl. And sit, stay. So some of my dogs also use a hand command in addition to the verbal. Um, so you'll see me doing that sometimes. Yes. Um, hand commands or, or hand signals can be very helpful for most dogs. They read what our body language does a lot better than they listen to what we're saying most of the time. So if you add a verbal command a lot of times at first, it's helpful to have that physical signal for your dog. Has also has some nice fun tricks. So he can hit a bell, Has get it, good. He can put his feet up on things, feet. Good, good, he can do a handstand. Good boy, okay, handstand. Stay in middle position as I move around. Good boy. Out. Good boy. Middle. And circle. Good boy. Out. He can weave. Good boy. Good. We haven't done this in a while, but he can jump through a hoop. Pass. Ready? Good boy. And again. Yes. He can boop with his nose, good boy. Let's see, what other things can you do, Kaz? You can go backwards, back, good boy, front. So front is another nice one for when you're out in public, front, good. Let's see, he can pass, spin, spin, good boy, and twist, good boy, twist. Good, it's the other way from spin. For Bear's tricks, I focus mainly on teaching him how to do cute things, um, like he can give kisses. Oh, thank you. And he can also get me a tissue if I sneeze. Achoo! Over there. 
Oh, thank you, bear. Achoo! Where is it? Achoo! Thank you. Yeah. He can uh, get things for me. So let's say I drop this food tin. Bear, get it. Bear. Yes, good boy. We also taught him a tug command, so he does not naturally like having things in his mouth. I actually had to work pretty hard to teach him this one, so it was a little bit of a challenge for me. With most dogs, if you want to teach them a retrieve or a tug, um, any type of game like that, you can just build up from play, but Bear does not naturally like to play with toys like that. Bear, out. Ready? Take. Tug. Good. Oh, good boy. Out. Good boy. Get it. Give. Give. Good boy. Tug. Good boy. Oh, so you can see he's finally starting to enjoy some tug, which he just did not before. Out. Thank you. Which is just really nice to see. I like to be able to play with my dogs. Um, he knows a bear. Spin. Good boy. Down. Good. Roll over. What are you doing? Down. Roll over. That was shoddy distancing. Down. Roll over. Not the most graceful creature I have in my house, certainly. Thank you, bear. He has there, middle. Boy, this one I really like doing when I'm in the store, especially if I don't want people interacting with them. It's great for busy areas. And it's just a little bit of fun to practice with your dog and work on your coordination. Out. Good boy. Uh, let's see. He's been working on, ready? Say bye-bye. Good. Say bye-bye. Yes. Very nice. And he's also been working on learning to agree with me. Don't you agree, Bear? Any more of a head nod than that. Don't you agree? Yes. Good boy. I'm trying to get a nice emphatic nod from him. Leave it. Bear. Don't you agree? So I taught the, uh, the wave and the head nod both came from uh, sticking tape on his nose and dogs generally try and paw it away. However, when he did that, he learned how to bob his head at the same time. So I've been working on separating them. That's why you'll see them both happening at the same time. They're still not completely separated, though they're, they're more distinct now. Bear. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Yes. Good boy. He is also one of the ones who has paw. Thank you, thank you, it's nice to see you, good sir. He has a with me command, which is more of like an informal heel. So he just walks next to me and he stops when I stop, good boy. He can do down, down, stand, yes. Uh, most of my dogs don't learn the command stand. It's just not really relevant to me, but it is used in some sports. So I just taught him that for fun and it was helpful for him with, um, with some of the physical therapy he had to do after he had some, some leg injuries. Um, yes, I know you like to boop. I think that's about it for Bear, but he has a couple of fun ones. Like I said, do you want to give another kiss? Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Um, kiss we taught with peanut butter on my cheek. It was super gross the first day and he learned to lick it off. Um, and then eventually he just condensed that down to kiss. Thank you. So that's another nice, fun, cute little trick that's pretty easy to teach. Sally also has some fun tricks. Um, most of her tricks are for bike joring or a bit of agility work that we do. So she knows how to run through the tunnel, go over the A-frame. Um, do weave pulls, she has a jumping command, 
Um, she also knows how to do the seesaw. Um, she can run on the slat mill like the other dog. She also does, or the treadmill and the slat mill, which is in the basement. Um, she knows how to go in directions around objects. So, Mally, right, right. Good girl. And left, left. Good girl, yes. She has a command where she goes through my legs, through. Good. Yes. Good girl. And then she can do circle. Good girl, all the way. Very nice, Mally. Out. Good. She knows middle, just like Bear and Taz. They're the ones who have this, this one the best. She just has to follow me no matter where I go. Good girl. Down. All the way. Now. Down. Thank you. Uh, the newest trick that we have been working on is orbit. So just like Taz, but you can see the earlier stages of this. So I'm still luring her. Yes. So I use two hands. In the beginning, I have treats in both hands. You'll notice I have not named this yet. So I don't tell her to do anything. I just show her what I want. Oh, sometimes her butt goes out a little bit far. Yes. And I just reset her. Um, if she does a particularly sloppy rep, she's at the point now where I just won't reward that. And I will, uh, I'll do another round. So again, I push her back behind me. And then I spear her out in front, yes, with the other hand. I'm also at the point where I'm no longer pushing into her nose like I was at first during our earliest reps. For bike joring, she has commands called line out, where she pulls the uh, line that's attached to the bike tight, and then she can go off, uh, which is hike. And the left and the right commands also work for that, as well as an easy, which is slow down, and stop, which is stop. Natalie, dig. Good girl, dig. Good. Yes, good job. Um, so I like that one for my dogs who have slightly longer nails who aren't necessarily ready for me to clip them yet. I'll still work on handling exercises, but it's a nice little fun trick for them to work on as well. Um, let's see, what else do you have, Mally? She can also, Mally, weep. Good girl. Uh-uh. Now. Back through. Good girl. This one isn't one that we do very much. Good. And now, jump. Oh, don't be fresh. Good. <laughs> Sorry, you hit your head. Come on. Good. So that's more or less it for everyone. I think that's all you got, baby girl. So we're always just working on new fun little things. She can touch just like the other dogs. Now, good girl, we're working on a heel. So it's not quite a uh, formal show quality heel. Um, now like, oh, but I am working on heel. Some enthusiasm with having her spin into it. Good. Right. And then also working on a uh, middle command, but this is all really just for fun for us. Maybe some sports applications in the future. Now like out, front. Good. And then just teaching her to maintain that position relative to me. Good girl. All right, place. Very nice. So that's most of what my dogs can do, but I hope that that's kind of fun and helpful for you guys just to see some different things that you can work on with your dog. Again, it doesn't need to be anything strenuous, anything that you really show other people. Sometimes it's just nice to work with your dog. You can work with your training timing. Um, you can work on your connection with them and their listening skills and makes them look to you for kind of something else and helps you guys learn how to work together pro productively. So I hope that you guys have a great day. One last trick that I didn't get the chance to show you guys before is a search command. So right now my dogs just search for a unique treat that they don't normally get um, and they can follow that scent and find the treat. 
In the future, I might opt to do scent work with a couple of them, but it's a nice activity for rainy days for my dogs. So I'll show you a quick example of it. Lucy, search. So you can see her nose going. We'll hide it all throughout the first floor of our house. Good job, Lucy. So that one was hidden up there. Good job. So usually when I do this, I will hide hmm, anywhere from four to six at a time. Please excuse the mess that is our house. Loose, not this room. I'll just guide her out of here. She can technically search this room and figure out that there's nothing in here, but it's not very exciting to watch. So you can see her following her nose, sniffing up and down. Generally, when you first start out, you'll start out with your dogs just sniffing the ground, things just hidden along the ground, and then you can gradually work your way up. Huh? Good job, Lucy. Yes! Good girl. So those were the two hidden treats that she found. It's just a nice fun thing that you can teach your dogs. You start off with boxes, you have treats hidden in a box, and then you can move all of the boxes around and each time there's a treat just hidden in one box. Um, if your dog's nervous about searching in boxes, then you can put treats in all of them at first just to build that curiosity. So nice fun extra trick that you can do. Great for working their nose, building their confidence. What was that? And uh, have a great day.